Lumpen Krub's fighting cogs are a famous band of dogs of war mercenaries that hail from the Moot. He was born in the northern Moot to a carrot salesman and a blacksmith's daughter. His father died by choking to death on a horseshoe before he was born. He ran away from home at an early age and became a con man, pickpocket, and even a game poacher. He often sold his poached rabbits to Rago Barrelgut, the landlord of Beggar's End, a local inn. One day, he didn't have rabbit pie on the menu, and a group of angry gamekeepers surrounded poor Rago. Lumpen launched into a long tirade about a tell of treasure, banquets, and more waiting for them over the mountains. They decided to join him on his trek to Talea. And that's when they chose to be called that night, Lumpen Krub's Fighting Cocks. He's been trying to lose them since that day, but they're great trackers, and they always find him. In fact, his attempts to get away from them has made them even better at tracking and also just at their skill in combat. It's only after they accidentally helped win some battles and gold began to rush in towards Lumpen Krub that he began to really adjust to his new role as their leader. Now for the story of a unit of halfling rangers by patron King Potato. The historical records of the Empire are lacking in any accounts of the order of rangers from the Moot, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. They carefully watch their borders with Sylvania for any sign of their tireless undead. They patrol the dark border of the eastern Mootlands, returning any lost undead to their graves like a proper host would. These particular rangers are responsible for staking out no less than four vampires in the last few centuries. Welcome back everyone, it's about time to go get some food. I'm pretty hungry, we've gotta go conquer, well, rebuild a few lands around here. But let me tell you, if any of our food is raw, I'm gonna kill half of these people here, then eat their lunches. Alright, now what about you, Gregor? I could give you tough as nails for one thing. I mean, there's a lot that you could really use right now. Training, 15 XP per turn. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use you out on the campaign map for a little while longer. We've got over here High Chef Gregor Shitsayer. We'll talk more about him later on. But now, we need to go find out what enemies we're going to go fight. Because I've already beaten all of the undead. I mean, come on. When you've got a hot pot on your side, who's going to beat you? No one, in my view. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to save up a little bit of money. Build up what we can. We'll have to end quite a few turns because we need to. And as a reminder, if you want my mod collection, I have it linked down below in my video description. Check it out over there. And pretty soon I'll be streaming some D&D games as well. You can find out more about that on my Discord channel or on my RPG channel, also linked down below. And that'll really close it out for all of my informational bits for all of you. Oh shit. Look who's over here. What's happening way over there? Now, what if the Emperor loses? What if he's no more? Well, first off, I'm going to laugh my ass off for one. Then I'm going to roll my halfling ass all the way over to Altdorf and become the new High Chef Emperor. The Emperor Chef. The Shepperer. Either way, I'm going to make sure that everyone knows how to cook. They know proper knife technique. That way they can shank chaos. They know how to cook a good soup. A good stew. Maybe even make some brioche. Bake some, I mean. Goodbye, Sylvania. Okay, Samwise, good job. You are strict, indeed, as you should be. And I'm going to give you Zealot, because we need to get rid of more corruption here. I mean, I've gotten rid of a lot of it, but I need more of it to go away. Let's come over here now and hopefully rebuild a location. Now, if we have a big rebellion, who really cares? Wait, hold on. Can I help you? Who the fuck are you? Oh, no. No, you do not. Rot blood tribe. I don't know shit about you, but you're going to die today. We'll try that out. It's only a minor army, but then again, they are very powerful. In the future, I will need to fight them because I lost over 400. That is a lot to lose. At least I didn't have to lose more money. All right, there's my agitator. No, my agitator is rot blood. Gambler's armor. I'll take it in the name of the empire. Nope, that belongs to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, more campaign movement and a larger campaign line of sight, too. All right, Samwise Warfoot. Now, what else am I going to give you? Renowned and feared. Okay, I've got more campaign movement range. Agents will have a very hard time getting me. And my army is cheaper. That is why we've got so much money. It's amazing, isn't it? All right, rank four. I'll get Gotrick and Felix one day, but not today. Here you go. 
Take that. Take your replenishment for one. And we're all much better for it. We're about to have another rebellion over here. I do want Waldenhof. I can't make it there yet. We'll need to wait for a minute. I'm going to upgrade our village that we have here. Now, if Rotblood took over everything, so be it. I'll come after them later on. I'll come after them with a cleaver with my freaking fighting cocks hanging out. Look, it's a group name that we have on our faction here. They would be hanging out at the nearby pub. What did you think I meant? Huh. All right, what's over here? Some old world rights. A new modification that I've added in that I forgot to add in in part one, but it gives me some cool stuff over here for the Empire that will allow me to be a little bit tougher. It's not all pertinent to me, but hey, a lot of it is. And for technology, or research rather, yes. I'll have to really think about what I want in the future, but for now, in diplomacy, Always we can engage in more trade to make more money. Thank you, Averlyn. You're a piece of shit. I refuse. But I want your money. Okay, I'm not going to fight you for now. Look at that. Over 2,000 gold per turn. We're about to be rolling in the frickin' dough. You know, the baking dough that we use. I mean, it's like a little bit of a Sweeney Todd situation. We kind of sing a lot, we cut people up, and then we put them into our food. You go, Carl. You do a thing, you fucking emperor, you. I would change my name to the fuck perer. They would know what I'm all about. No one would doubt me. I did see the grudge bringers. Yeah, I've got still faith overhaul as a core mod. Then I've got old versus new. And naturally, any real compatibility patches are what you need. Ooh, Todd bringers mad at me. Old fucking Toddy. I'm not worried about him. All right, let's come over here now. I need to rebuild. It will take time. Oh, shit. Okay, we're about to have a pretty big battle fighting. Lamont Dahl who is actually playable. How about that? Okay, so we're about to go find them. They've got a lot of trolls, a lot of Forsaken, nothing I like, and we're about to have another rebellion. On my watch? No, I'm gonna get rid of that little training field. I don't need that here. Not today, not right now. What can I get for an old world right? Okay, well, I don't want any of that either. What about for, let's say, technology, Mootlin, tier three? Well, I could use that. I'm going to lose some money here later, unfortunately, because I won't have my farm, but it won't be like a lot of money. No, it won't be a lot. Yeah, I want my proper walls there, but I might not even be able to get that because I want three landmark buildings unless we get like that level three thing where you get walls right away. We'll find out about that later. All right, we're going to level up our agent by coming down here to go bother a few shitty orcs and maybe the dwarves aren't doing well. Brock Var is still alive. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how still Faith or Grimhammer has been bouncing out other factions I haven't gotten to play in a long time and, until now. So hopefully the dwarves are not just going to dominate everyone and make my life a living hell. Well, I'm, I'm playing as good now, but still, I would rather fight orcs a lot. Orcs are fun to fight. Okay, Gregor Roxburger, I'm going to give you, sure, toughest nails. I mean, I should get it anyway, just in case. I mean, you never know. He could get wounded. Ooh, new abilities, power sap. We can reduce enemy magic, experienced, quite lewd, calming, maybe, quell, onslaught, a bunch of interesting stuff to kind of like enhance what we have. Neat. Well, all right then. I'll take it. Now, I'm pretty low on money. What can I even pick up right now? I would like to upgrade my orchards. That would be nice, but let's go into battle and beat the shit out of some corrupted felons. They come in here. They were trying to dine and dash. That's what they were doing. Oh, <laughs> not on Samwise's fucking watch. All right, let's go kick him with our foot. I mean, it's called a war foot. We're going to launch it up someone's ass, you know. We're like the Hank Hill of ass kicking here. Now it's time to take on a Nurgle-themed army called the Rotblood Tribe. They're charging right in. Our pistoliers will be moving right back to avoid them. And we'll continue to harry them. I mean, 64 missile damage is really nothing to sneeze at. Come on, trolls, get over here. Oh, you've got a beat stick? I've got a bigger beat stick. It's called the Halfling Ego about their cooking prowess. We're gonna chop you up, boil you, mash you, put you in the stew. All that good stuff. Here's a Grand Enchanter supporting our army. We've got Dryads right over here in the middle. On the right flank, what do we have? More Wardens, then a little bit further out, Master Cooks, and even Ogres, too. Ogres! Everywhere. 
Now, our pistoliers are weakening a group of chaos trolls. These guys are no joke. It's not always about kills. Sometimes you just need to shoot a guy in the face, much like that. There we go. We didn't kill one yet, and that poor guy is probably not going to make it. No, he's gone. We'll call him Jimmy. Jimmy! Oh, no. I'll tell your mother. You were kind of a letdown. All right, these trolls are going away, and now the Rotblood tribe is moving in. They're getting ready for a major charge to try to destroy our way of life, which is all about eating appetizers and leaving our dinner table as quickly as possible. Here comes a group of Chaos Spawn. We're charging in too. There goes our Dryads. We've got a few Rangers currently hitting on anyone they're able to hit, like Forsaken. Our Great Eagles will be used to focus on our Chaos Spawn. We need them gone, so here they come, killing these units right away. We go look over here. We've got more of a battle. Really beginning to impact our units. I mean, that is a debuff for everyone involved. Poison. Reducing damage, speed, all of that good stuff that we use to make a nutritional breakfast of slaughter. Our ranged units are still attacking. We look over here now. Our dryads are holding off many enemies. And a majority of the chaos spawn are now gone. They've got a leader, Lamont Dahl. He's a marauder chieftain. These wardens are at zero kills. They're fighting chaos warriors who have halberds. They have only one kill right now. We keep on looking. Another group of wardens holding up. I mean, if we fight chaos a lot, it'll get rough whenever I fight their chosen or even knights too. Now my ogres are having a pretty easy time destroying a bunch of forsaken. They're gonna be forsaken. They're better than the forsaken. I just tell them every day, they're on your swamp right now, ogres. Go take care of them. They're being a bunch of donkeys. And here's a more cinematic view, but we're gonna zoom out now and check out what's going on everywhere else too. My pistoliers are now chasing after a group of chaos trolls. They're pretty much out of ammo. I'm gonna allow them to keep a group away. That way they will not come back. Our wardens are still fighting a few trolls over here who have eight kills. Our rangers are now flanking a group of forsaken and that is working out very well. Getting shafted from the side will typically bring you down a notch, right? Yeah, it's usually how that works. And our Wardens are beginning to waver on the left flank. That is okay. We'll come back later. My Great Eagles, well, one group has moved out. My poor Dryads are being cut down. I mean, fighting Chaos over in Grimhammer is always going to be a challenge. It's meant to be. They are strong. They are few. But man, do they hurt a lot. And look at what we have over here. More Wardens fighting more Chaos Warriors. If we go a little bit further out, I've got some malicious spears hunting down trolls together. Those trolls have 25 kills, but they're trying to run away. Pretty soon they'll end up losing a lot. And over here, we've got more Forsaken again at 18 kills. Over here, our militia at a handful of kills. But again, it's just all about keeping them busy as we contend with the majority of their army, which we are now breaking. I mean, look at what has broken so far. We just need to kill a few more. Lamont Dahl has been hit by a great eagle. I mean, he's been thrown right through the battlefield holy crap that was a great disrupting animation these for a second over here have destroyed my poor friends my poor dryads my rangers have barely any kills i mean without armor piercing i doubt they'll get many kills at all they are hitting forsaken who have only 80 armor no shields here comes a charge from behind these wardens hitting them and killing them okay have a look over here. Where are they taking my halflings? Is it to Chaos Guard? Yeah, maybe. Alright, Chaos Trolls, you're at over 20 kills. Good job. I'm proud of you. Now leave. Be gone. Trolly thought. Alright, now we have Ogres again, keeping very busy. These guys are great. Look at them go. I love their pants. I have no idea why. They're pretty goofy. Well, probably because they're dressed in a pretty lackadaisical way and yet here they are I mean being my most effective unit carrying me to victory 31 kills for that group of Cavs warriors let's go look over here now there's only a few groups left who have not broken I have taken a lot of damage but look at that the majority of them are now wavering our pistolers were hit unfortunately yeah we had a few groups actually rally back up and charge back at me 
What I really enjoy about Grimhammer 2 is that battles do last for a period of time. They can get nasty, but that means you can actually flank. You don't have to worry about just keeping everyone busy and rushing all over. I can tactically maneuver a little bit. Oh no. Being debuffed by their nasty ugh, diseases. Look, I don't want any type of virus. I don't want to put weird foods into my meals and all that, but we are now done. We've won the battle. The visuals are stunning and quite frankly, beautiful. <laughs> now, if I lost, I wouldn't be saying that. You go, Great Eagle. Well, let's get out of here now. That was a really challenging battle. I mean, chaos over in Grimhammer is really nothing to laugh at. <laughs> um, so we're going to move on now. I did lose over 600. We won the battle. If they had a full stack, I might not be here right now. Ooh, hello. Plus 15 to leadership. That actually does make a huge change. I'm going to give it to my master cooks and enjoy. All right, so now I own another location. I do like the new tribe here. That's much more challenging to burn through. And I do not need to recolonize. Here I thought I was going to have to recolonize everything. Nope. Okay, chance to receive one unit. Not right now. I'm going to come over here and retain control. There we go. Now I'm a little bit stronger than I was before. Yeah, give me more alcohol. I'll take it right now. What's over here? Tobacco plot. A few more trade goods. I got gotcha. you. Over here are some fields too. More growth. Okay. Well, why don't I work on, again, a little bit more public order? Or actually, we're going to get rid of a little bit of that taint. I don't want taints rubbing on my land. That's weird. Okay, Samwise, I haven't really given you anything worthwhile yet. Your magic is all right. I've given you what you need. We'll get Lightning Strike later. I don't usually go that far down the campaign route, but here I did. Inspiring Presence, cool. It doesn't really name any of my units, so I wonder if it'll actually benefit them or not. Ugh. Oh well. We'll probably need to get like a more generic Imperial General in order to help out one of our other armies. So. What's over here now? Rebellion on my watch? Yeah, <laughs> on my watch for sure. Okay, let's end our turn. We've got the time. We can do it. We can afford to end our turn today. Reichlin is under attack by the Crooked Moon tribe. I'll go take care of them. No, they're very far away. Wait, go trick and Felix. You're here? Pardon? Hold on. You're only... I wonder. The two of them might be together. That could be it. Yeah, maybe. Got a mod where you can like hire them from a tavern, but I didn't know that there would be more than one of them. That's pretty funny. We can leave it alone. We can just say they move really quickly. Okay. Arguilon, you're fighting the... The Crooked Moon as well. We've got Marienburg over there. The Skull Takers are fighting Averland. I am seeing a much more dynamic empire as of right now. They're doing a lot. Kurgan Hordes are coming. Ooh, interesting. Okay, the Kurgans, which pretty much everyone hates. I wonder where they're spawning in at. I have no idea. Anyway, what we're going to do for now, we're going to bring you over to Eshin. Then we're going to do a quick march over to Castle Drakenhof. There goes a lot of my money just for marching. Now, I can't upgrade my walls yet. That'll need to wait. On our following turn, we'll make some more money, gain more experience as well. What more could I use while I'm here? I don't want a standard recruitment building right now. Ooh, Bloodhounds. Cool. Outriders, I can get them too. Press Ganged Thieves. Okay. And a Hot Pot Catapult, which I love. If you know me, you know I love Hot Pot. Okay, that would give me 15% more campaign movement range and a free company militia to help guard my stuff. Well, I do like my stuff, so I'm going to take that right now. Paved roads sound pretty good to me. It's a pretty big location. That would allow me to get to Waldenhof quickly. And Gregor Roxberger, who I do not have a name for. Hopefully a patron will name that unit. You failed. That is okay. I forgive you. We'll come over here and take a bit of technology or try to. Did you do it? <gasps> you did it. Good job. I'm proud of you. Okay. Two points over here. Yeah, we could use some magic later on. That would be pretty damn cool. Let's end our turn again because there's not too much for me to do and I don't need to lollygag. My bad. Some of my uh, Norskin blood came through there. 
from my previous playthrough as Edgil Stirbian. No, it's like playing a completely new Warhammer 2. To me, that's like the really cool part whenever you take a long break from a mod or game, you come back and you're like, holy crap, it feels really different. And what I'm feeling right now feels really different. Blood Dragons would probably be cool to play as too. There's a lot that I could play as like little mini campaigns or even big campaigns, depending on our goals and what we can do. Taxes on my watch? Oh, hell yeah. Now, leave it alone. I don't want to bring that up right now. Severe. Okay, more public order. We also get to come over here and let's have a look at what's going to happen. We get to quickly auto resolve that battle to gain a lot of experience and potentially gold. We'll take all of your gold. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Shield of Tolos for more melee defense. Very, very cool. I do want to go to Mordheim later. We're not going there yet, but we will go there later. All right. You are rank nine. I'm going to give to you magic because we could use some magic. Yeah. Pick up the penumbral pendulum. Like our pendulous balls swinging back and forth in combat as we fight mighty gigantic foes. You know, we few halflings. Yeah, here's a vineyard. More money, more public order. I'm sure you didn't need that image in your mind. I do not apologize. Okay, I'll give you specialists, and I'm going to give you Shim's Burning Gaze. Not Shim's Burning... Anyway, let's go ahead and take more technology. Or try to. You failed that time. And we are out of gold. What a shame. We'll have more later. Let's end our turn again. It's actually very cool to have our own base of operations, and we can try to operate with the Empire, but I do see one location under attack. They could lose locations that I can come in and be like, hey, I'm here. Now, there will be locations I do not want. Like, let's say Nordland. I don't want Nordland. It's right by the fucking Norskins. Why would I want that? Okay, we are beginning to see some confederations. I wonder what would happen if I forbade confederations. I bet a lot of major factions would die off. What now? You want to have a military? No, we can't do that, buddy. We're trading, sure, but uh, you're kind of cuckoo bananas, as our people like to put it. Talking to horses and shit. I don't trust you. All right, the Knights of Origa are fighting the trolls. Fugravon and Peravon are at peace right now. We're gaining some money. Cool. We're reducing a lot of corruption. We're going to come over here to Waldenhof right away. Yeah, you can kind of wait there right now. I've got some money. I need more money than what I have right now. We're going to take another vineyard because hell yeah. And we're about to have another rebellion if I don't take it. So I should probably take it. Okay, Shrine of Sigmar, you're only ranked two. I would lose a little bit of income. I don't like that. What else can I pick up while I'm out here? Tier 3 recruitment buildings do not belong here, so I'm not going to get those. But I will pick up... Let's see. Public order would go down. I don't need that. I could use a soup kitchen. So we'll get money for a soup kitchen instead. Roxburger, you are going to level up whether you like it or not. Do that for me. Inveterate brawler. Not bad. Inveterate, rather. All right. Gregor, rank 9. I can give you intimidating for one. A bard. Interesting. A hero. Okay. Not a lot of leadership as a bonus. But I suppose it does all add up. I mean, these are new to me. We're going to take Intimidating. I don't want any agents to bother him. Eventually, he's going to be nigh impossible to harry in any meaningful capacity. It's in their turn again. Because we're going to Essen. Then hopefully to Mordheim. Will we be fighting more Rotbloods? Probably. I mean, who knows? I might even head up north and conquer along the mountains. I don't know where I'm going yet. I don't know things. Do you know things? I certainly don't. Approach us, friend, and make your offer. Oh, yeah? Okay, sure. Nah. <laughs> you might die. You're kind of weak, man. I'm a big ball and halfling. I get to do what I want. And maybe what I want is your land. No, I do want to know where the Blood Dragons are at. They might come for me out of nowhere. I don't want to lose my capital. They could easily burn it down. I could always rebuild it, of course, but that would be a pain. They're not... Uh-oh. Hold on. What's over by that area? We now have more growth and public order. Chaos is beginning to stir. That won't be easy, so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to take Gregor and bring him up. I need him to go check things out. I need you to keep on bothering that garrison. Good job. You're ranked 10 now. More research for me. What can I pick up then? Let's have a look around here. More income. Sure. I could work on my everything, really. Yeah, why not? I could work on everything around here. Ten turns total. That is a long time. I don't have any ports right now. 
Okay. Fire Mountain Soup. I'm going to take then cheaper infantry units as I get more of them. I mean, over time, they'll be cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. That'll be really good for me. I'll be able to easily rebuild my armies, and I would like to do that. Okay, we're heading over here now. I mean, that is a lot of Chaos Corruption, so now I know that they are just popping up everywhere. Holy sh... Oh, fuck. Okay. I might not be able to beat that. They have chosen. I have, like, a very basic army right now, so I might actually need to move back. Not because I'm just trying to run away, but look at these stats over here. Over 120 armor. No wonder people aren't just trying to rebuild these locations. So I'm going to need a moment to rebuild myself. So what we're going to do for now, we probably need to work on getting more recruitment buildings. I don't even have the money to like really work on what I have. So I'm going to let all of you go away for right now because I need more money. And look at my money now. It shot right up, you know. Walled it off. Sure, upgrade right away. So we're going to take a few turns to continue developing what lands we do have. Okay, Gregor, you did level up. Good. I'm proud of you, buddy. Intimidating. Take that. We want to make sure no one is able to bother you while you're out there, which means a little bit less of an annoyance whenever we're just trying to level up our agents. That's always good. Is that a vampire pirate? Well, all right, then. Ooh, Karak Asgaraz. Interesting. Yeah, the drowner out here? What the hell? And you burned down Karak Asgaraz. Well... Pretty hurtful, I'm sure, for whoever is dealing with that. The Crooked Moon Tribe has been obliterated. They're all dead. We've encountered Argulon. Interesting. A tribute. That would give me plus four to public order. You know what? We'll take it. Okay. I could go pick up Averhive and say, I've got your capital. No, I might give it away. I think we might focus on what we have for right now. So we're going to move over here. And see about doing that. Yeah. As I keep my money up. Now, having these tribes does present a pretty big challenge for me. Now, I could get tree men. Tree men would be amazing. I've been waiting to get these landmark buildings. I need more money for them. Like over here is a tobacco. Oh, okay. Hold on. I don't think I can get that. I would need. Yeah. See, I would need to get another building first. Like my tobacco plantation. So that would take me coming over here to tier three. Okay. Then I would have to get that last one. So I could do that. I might actually do that. It would take a lot of time. Or I could come over here and get my Grand Cauldron instead. That would give me my Ogres, my Cooks, my Hot Pot Catapult, which I've been wanting. But how much of a garrison would I be getting from the other building? Let me have a look over here. Not much of one at all, but a lot of money. I think maybe in the future when I have more money. I'm. It's only money and a few trade goods. So while it's good, I think I'm going to be okay. And what I need right now is just, like, more recruitment. But I really want some treatment, so we're going to go work on that right away. Okay, Gregor, I want you to pick up... What do you have over here? Nets of Amin Talk. Sure, take that. Upgraded, by the way. I want some upgraded spells, and we're going to make sure it's green skins over here, because I could be wrong. Actually, go search the ruins for me, because you'll get experience anyway. Did you find it? Oh, just out of range? Boo! Now, we're going to move around a little bit and do our stuff where we're able to. Check out that garrison. Good job. Rank 10. It's in their turn now. And we can see what else is out there in the world for us to beat up on. We are amazing halflings. Ready to just rabble rouse and... Okay, Marienburg is fighting you too. Well, I'm not going to betray Reinklin. That's Reinklin, baby. Can't do that. I mean, eventually I will lose lands unless I protect, like, everyone. I could go out there and try to get to them, but I need better units. I haven't been able to upgrade for a long time now. I really want to go after the Rotblood tribe. Ostermark might go out and fight eventually, but whether or not they can win, I really have no idea. There are... Ooh, okay, that's another big orc army. They would probably easily beat my poor halflings. I'm in a pretty crazy position right now, I've got to tell you. Oh, Sterling or not... Yeah, they're not very happy with me right now. That's fine. I'll take care of that. Let's come on down. I think I might spend like a few turns rebuilding as I'm able to. I want you to search what's over here. Freaking old one puzzle over here. No, no thank you. 
Okay, two more points. I'll take the Net of Amatok, Vaz Protection. And we'll come down here. So, yeah, I might spend like a few turns just rebuilding because it's going to take me a little bit to actually be ready for another fight. But let's end up our... Let's see. What's over here now? Intimidating. I'll take that too. Your mount can wait. I might just wait for you to get a Demigriff mount because, I mean, that would be amazing as well. Okay, so I've got money. But I need more to get my Grand Cauldron. That would give me growth, public order, and a lot of trade goods. And even unlock technology too. Now that I do want. A few turns have gone by. We're over here and later I should hopefully be able to fix an issue with my caps and not being able to get tree men or tree kin. Those two units would change up a lot for me. But until that point, we're going to be okay. I was able to get a few more ogres. I decided to build up my garrison over here because some random army could pop up and easily destroy my capital. I was able to colonize Averheim. I gave it over to the emperor. Now he likes me a little bit more. And we've just been upgrading whatever we're able to. I'm trying to make more money. If I can get another gold mine upgrade over here, we'll go from 900 gold to 1200 gold. Not bad. And they gave me another agent, a witch hunter. They keep giving me more and more. Okay, here's what we're gonna do now. Keep on taking their technology. That's what you can do. That's what is going to help me today. Unfortunately, you've been wounded. You'll be back later. What about... Ah, uh, here you are. Why don't you go check out Mordheim later? Yeah, that won't help me yet. We're about to go into battle. Alright, if you're not going to be able to help me right now, I'll let you wait on that then. And I'll keep my gold up pretty high. We're going to need to pay for a lot. So here I've got my ogres, three groups total. I was able to get a new regiment of renown as well. Our Warfoot's band. They're shielded. They only have 19 armor. Okay, a ward save of only 5%. Weapon strength of only 32. I mean, hopefully they're going to be able to help me out. What do you have? Imperial Allegiance. Okay. Immune to psychology. Good, you're a little dumb. Just how I like my halflings. We got another group of master cooks and over here we do have our grand cauldron hot pot catapult look at that flaming attacks we've got a good bit of artillery hopefully that will be all that i need or we're about to lose a pretty major fight let's go give it a go it's about time i need to take more lands officer mark can't do it i mean they should come help me out but they're not going to be able to do it hopefully again we can win here comes battle number two now have a look at what they're going to do we're waiting right over here in a rather advantageous position now what i need to show you while my pistoliers are busy shooting people in the face we're all about drive-bys we halflings are infamous for our drive-bys yeah we've got a grand cauldron hot pot catapult 30 shots total they have a very high missile damage of over 500 a range of 350 and right over here, the feast is coming, plus 10 to leadership, too. Not bad. And eventually, they're going to crash into enemy ranks, probably changing up my entire battle. Now, here's my formation. On my left flank, I've got my master cooks. They're here to fight in the trees to slow down any major large unit. My Warfoot's band, if you have not seen them, they're right over here. They're pretty cool looking. They have pretty good shields too, blocking 55% of all small arms from fire, which is actually not that bad when I think about it, though they do have very low armor. But they'll be helping out my cooks. And over here is my soup being delivered. Look, we're all about a timely delivery. We can't be late. They might impact my rating. On my right flank, I've got more ogres than before. That's going to help out a lot. I like to keep them all combined. There's our ranged units now hitting their knights right over here. We're using a mystifying miasma to slow them down and cause a little bit of damage too. I'm sure we'll take a lot of damage, but hey, we're holding up. Now they're using magic right on top of our formation, damaging my poor wardens. Here comes the major charge. So before we go back into a more tactical view, let's check it out in a more visual, aesthetically pleasing view. Ooh, chaos spawn are hitting and... They are never kind. You've got to get rid of them quickly or you just end up killing a lot of your men, a lot of your halflings. More shots of soup right into them. I'm all about a hot pot. The hot pot life is for me. 
The balance of power is not in my favor. On my right flank, I've got ogres who are pushing in, fighting knights who have lances and chaos warriors in addition to two groups of chosen. All the while, I'm over here using a penumbral pendulum to strike right through these warriors. But I mean, look at that. They did not even budge. That barely did anything at all. Now I'm using another Mystifying Miasma. My Great Eagles are charging in, going after their Chaos Spawn. There could be some friendly fire, but I'm using my artillery to hit them because I need to. If I don't, we're not going to win the battle. On my left flank, more Chaos Spawn holding up. They're at over 20 kills. Their chosen bodyguard group is right over here. And let's go check out the woods real quick. We've got my Warfoot's Band fighting Forsaken, and they are about to win, I think. I feel like they could win. Over here, my Master Cooks destroyed those Hounds of Decay. Those bad doggies are leaving. No bone. No doggy bag. And have a look. We're concentrating all of our fire right over here. Unfortunately, we did lose a group of Wardens. They are trying to flee. My Great Eagles are helping me out when it comes to destroying Knights. I want to make sure that we can get out of here quickly. My Pistoliers are moving away. And there goes a bunch of Chaos Knights. I mean, they're having to get out of here now. We'll turn around. Look at all of my ogres, and again, they are fighting so damn many chosen. It's not going to be easy, but it's not meant to be. But if you look at it so far, they're covered in blood. We like our meat raw. Or potentially medium well? Medium rare? I don't know. What's your preference? Not well done, I hope. Okay, Chaos Spawn, you're over here. We've got two of them left. They're falling quickly. Beyond that, We've got another group of Chaos Warriors who are pushing on my Wardens and Halfling Militia. They're about to break. These Chaos spawn, wow, seven left, but barely any health. I'm using more of my Hot Pot to hit a large group of Chaos Warriors because, again, if I don't, we're done for. Here comes my Master Cooks. I mean, they're pretty strong. Low armor, but very strong. And don't worry, by my next part, I'll be able to recruit Tree Men and even Tree Kin. That will help out with my lines. I mean, Tree Kin will certainly help out a lot. Okay, Chaos Warriors, you are taking a lot of damage from my magic. I'm just using whatever magic I can because I've got to. Let's go look over here now. These knights are finally leaving. One group is broken on my left flank. They're going to come right after my poor group of artillery. But look at how many we've taken out. I mean, every shot is doing a lot. We were losing the battle initially, but now we're winning. Look at that. 175 kills, only going up to 183. Here they come, now hitting my emplacement. Look, man, we're busy cooking. Get away from my line chefs. They are on the line, holding it. Okay. The Sylvanian Road Wardens are trying their best to help out. They're at three kills, at least for one of them. We've got one group that has come back. We're finally winning right over here, though... Our Pistoliers have how many kills? Only 15. They're breaking through a group of Chaos Warriors who are fleeing. And we're still fighting Chosen. Two groups of Chosen. But my Ogres, again, they know how to defend a good swamp. And they're going to do it. It doesn't matter if it's not a swamp. You give them enough shrooms and eventually they believe everything is a swamp. In the middle is where I have a lot of my units surging back in. A lot of my enemies are now breaking. My Great Eagles and other units are helping out over here. One unit is out of bolts or arrows or whatever, and now they're charging in to help out, but they've all broken. We had another really good battle so very early on where now we could really chase them down if we wanted to. We don't have to. We'll probably do it a little bit because we're vindictive little bastards. Leave a tip. That was a close victory. My god, they're tough. Okay, so we can beat them. Good. I'm really glad I was able to get that catapult. I might even want one more, but I'm not too sure yet. We're going to occupy what we can here. Okay. Let's have a look now. No, I'm going to keep it, man. It belongs to me today. All right? I've got to hold on to it. If I don't, I won't get more power, and I need more power. We halflings have a better handle on law and administration than you folk we know how to put soup crackers in good soup okay perfect vigor award save i mean that would be great but i need more damage i need a lot more damage hit of shades might do it i'm not dealing so much damage right now which is not great for me all right i'm gonna take over here then Ooh, that's a pretty good debuff you know what i'm gonna take that for now i could use it 
All right. What more can I give you? Melee defense could go up. Sure. Yeah, that could be pretty handy, I suppose. Gleaming pennant plus four to leadership, which is really not that high. So I'm going to leave it alone. We didn't lose any Show unit entirely. Teams. That's good. Yes, go search the ruins for me. I bet the rot blood are right over there, too. Yep. Okay, so we now own a new location. That feels really good. We've got some gold. We need more gold. We can end our turn and wait for a little bit. There's a lot more for me to do, but look at how much more land that we have now. I'm about to go after Mordheim. That should enhance my power. Carl is very far from home. Oh, you're going after more orcs. Holy crap. Okay. He really does not like those orcs at all. I mean, look at that. Wow. Well, that should be pretty good. That should be pretty darn good, whatever's going to happen over there. We're going to be able to do some serious damage to our enemies as we continue to proceed on. Wait, drums in the woods. So beastmen tribes are now beginning to gather. It's probably about to get pretty bad. Okay, my Imperium power is going up for Tomb Kings. Hold on. That isn't right. <laughs> Chance to receive one unit. Please a unit and not another hero. I don't need another hero. Now, how big is your garrison? Is it huge? Oh, yeah, it's pretty big. We'll fight another big battle like we did before. Okay, you can't really do too much. You're not in another army. But you... Oh, you failed again. Shoot. Well, we still do need to replenish. You might have one more shot. Okay, that would give me more growth province-wide. More replenishment as well. I'll take that. Livestock pens are good for me and good for you. All right. Now... Castle Templehof. Yeah, I want to upgrade you right away. I've got some money left. Boris, I'm going to probably bring you out. You can't do much over there. I want you to go scout things out for me, all right? Go find out what's happening in the world. I don't want you in a corruption-heavy location for too long. I could see the Empire being much harder. I mean, these are the challenges they probably needed. Just a bunch of more minor challenges. And actually, the Rotblood tribe is really tough. I mean, imagine playing the Empire and trying to deal with that. Like with Carl's army, I don't think we would have been able to win that. I mean, maybe we would have to charge and cycle a lot of charges to try to win that, but it wouldn't be extremely likely that we could easily win that battle. Okay, a non-aggression pact. Yeah, I don't want to fight you. I believe one of their factions were destroyed. Edward Vanderkrau, a peace treaty, huh? No, you're fighting everyone. <laughs> I don't want to do anything with you, really. It is good to see. Who's over here? A defensive alliance you're not really allied to anyone important so we're gonna leave it alone otherwise i probably would okay more confederations are going on we're gonna have some pretty big factions i will not be able to confederate probably i'll have to check later if i can that would be pretty funny if i could but i do doubt it okay now come on gregor please do it shoot that would have weakened so many of them that would have saved a lot of lives in our own army but now i have no choice but to move back in all right let's have a look over here that would be Fire Mountain Soup, more ranged damage for our army. I need a lot more money if I want to have other factions like me more. Yeah. Okay, Undead, Knife Ears, Ruinous Breeds. Yeah, that'll give me more weapon strength and leadership for fighting them, so we'll pick that up later as well. And I think we're okay. We've got the Imperial Colleges over here. Nothing that I can do with that, though. Maybe one day. All right, I think we're about ready to go into combat again. I've got to. I've got no choice but to today. I've got two wounded agents. I've got one who's going to go out and scout out around the world. If we find an army to bother, I will go get them. Yeah. Okay, so the raw blood, I don't know who destroyed them completely, but they evidently just moved right through and destroyed everything over here. I'm not really sure of their own mechanics, but let's now go back into combat and try to kill another army. I mean, we can do it. I just need to play defensively and use my yeah, catapult my a lot. My pistoliers are so good, too. I need more of them. I probably need free company militiamen because our rangers are doing jack all, dude. It's really bad. Actually, I'm going to get rid of one of you right now. All right. Yes. Here we go. Lumpen croups fighting cocks. So now we have fighting cocks as part of our army. The fighting cocks should do a pretty good job at killing some of them. Hopefully. They've got some bonus when fighting infantry. If they had, like, Armor piercing, maybe, but I doubt they're going to help very much. We'll still use them instead. You know, the fight cocks. <laughs> All right, let's go now. It's time for a battle. Another battle. It's a lot of corruption locally. Well, shit. Here we go, killing again. By the weighty balls of Sigmar, we're going to win this battle. 
I mean, look, the guy's wearing a loincloth. I'm sure a few dwarves are like, come on, man. Put on some real clothing. My pistoliers are now moving up, shooting at a few chosen. They're going to come towards me. I'm going to go over my formation while my pistoliers, again, are quite busy. I would love to have another group. They're really good. All right, so what do we have over here? In the woods, I've got all of my ogres again. We've got master cooks. I mean, they're good at taking down large enemies. Halfling militia for their anti-large abilities. I mean, they're pretty strong. My grand enchanter will be supporting over there, keeping them well fed. I've got my lumpen croups fighting conks right over here, a range of 170, 25 missile damage. Hopefully they'll make a big difference. And over here at one little pass, I've got wardens behind them to support them are more master cooks. Right by my artillery, I've got wardens too. And back over here, Warfoot's band. Now they're gonna try to charge at me. We'll be able to defend every choke point. All the while, my artillery is gonna lay down on them some scalding hot soup. I mean, imagine that. You're wearing armor, then out of nowhere, hot liquid is just dashed on your face. There we go. If we could just weaken as many as we can, if my artillery can hit them and get maybe close to 200 kills, we'll be okay. We'll be all right. There we go, another big hit. We're still shooting Chaos Spawn, but I think because we're gonna fight in the woods and because we've got a great formation, we're gonna be okay. I love the maps we've had so far. It's allowed a lot of tactical variation. I do need to wait for them to come to me, sure, but I could still react in a different way each and every time. Now here they come. My ranged units are shooting at them. My artillery is hitting. Chaos Knights are moving in. Let's have a more cinematic charge. And there they go. They love using that one spell. I don't know what it is for Chaos, but they do have it. And I don't like it. Here comes more of them. The tides are coming. The Hounds of Decay have charged in. We're shooting at a bunch of Forsaken. They do have a group over here that's trying to flank around. But don't worry, I've got units in reserve who are going to be able to help out. So I'm not worried about them. We're still hitting more groups of Chaos Warriors. And here they come. My Wardens are holding. They'll be fighting, but I need them to hold their position. Now, we've got Chosen to worry about. Those guys have got to go if we want them to break. My Grand Enchanter needs to move back eventually, but we're allowing him to hold them back. Look at him, he's like, I'm out of here, man. All right, we're looking at trees. All of my units are actually holding pretty well. My ogres are doing a great job. My great eagles are charging in to help out. Now they do have a group of chosen who are trying to flank me. And they've got those really hot weapons. I mean, look at that, the peak of heat. Here comes another attack. I was hoping for more damage, but it did lighten them up a little bit. What's over here now? More Chaos Warriors again. They're kind of all together. I'm using another Enfeebling Foe and Miasma. I mean, I'm doubling up on all of my spells here, trying to make sure they're weak. That really did reduce their melee attack. I'll need to use it more. I might even save a lot of magic in the future for that. We've got Sylvanian Road Wardens who are destroying these Chosen over here. Now, we're not doing a lot of damage, I'm sure. We're not getting a lot of kills, but we are at least beginning to break them down. My Pistoliers are right behind them over here at how many kills? Only eight kills, only eight kills. But look at how they're being chewed up from behind. You've got to imagine your morale is not gonna be very high when you're continually, well, being hit by a bunch of hot pot. Hey man, I've had really hot pot, really hot hot pot. There we go. These Hounds of Decay are currently attacking my crew. They have how many kills? Well, nearly 30. My Hot Pot crew has over 100, but again, they are being hit. Right over here, we had a group of our Warfoot's band flank our enemies, and we are winning because of that. We are destroying them. There could only be one green colored faction, and it's gonna be me. Okay, Hounds of Decay, you're only at a few kills as well. Here we go, we've broken Forsaken, we've broken a few warriors, I've got Pistoliers charging in, I've got some Master Cooks charging in to keep them away, to keep the bad boys at bay. 
And now it's time for my hot pot to hit a bunch of units right over here, and my god, they are doing it. If there's one thing we know how to use, it's a cauldron of liquid. Don't inquire where we got those skills, but we do have them. Our great eagles are chasing after a group of knights who barely got any kills at all. I'm all about supporting my army. I couldn't beat Archeon. That wouldn't happen. I would need a better army, but pretty soon we will have a better army. That will change a lot for me and for you too. You won't watch me lose a bunch of halflings in every battle, but we've won the battle now. They've broken. We took them all down. Now, if we want to, again, we can be vindictive and chase them down. They didn't leave a very high tip, and I'm pretty mad about it. My god, we are being challenged today. These battles have been pretty fucking epic, man. Okay, we're going to occupy because it belongs to me. I was actually listening to the Doom soundtrack while fighting that battle. It gave me extra power. Extra fucking rage. Okay, we're going to retain control. It belongs to me. I conquered it. Ooh, look at that. Sigmar's Rock. The Order of Merciful Sisters of Sigmar dedicate their lives to recovering Warpstone from across the world and bringing it to Sigmar's Rock for safekeeping. We'll get a lot of untainted. Untainted stuff I need. Region-wide, all regions, adjacent provinces, all that good shit. Okay. Now, I want other units, sure, but I've got to wait. I'm pretty busy. I am going to take up a Shrine of Sigmar. I mean, that is a lot of untainted I want to spread out there. Yeah, getting some manner of road later would be good too, but we won that battle. We didn't lose any entire unit for once. I got very tired of losing entire units, but now it looks like we can actually fight through and be okay. Now, I could save a little bit more money, but I could use more magic. Oh, yeah. Like over here, the enfeebling foe. I might grab like a huntsman general to come help out. I'm not really too sure yet. I'll figure it out later. But let's end their turn. That was really hard. My god, I've got to tell you, that was actually very challenging. I had to really be careful, but it was actually very cool that my units didn't, like, burn and dive right away. Okay, Carl's pretty beat up. He's very strong, though. He's our buddy. He's going to be protecting us to the west. I'll be over here to the east, taking what I can. All right, I'm going to leave you alone. Yeah, my power ranking went down quickly. I was very strong, but now, <laughs> not that strong. Things have changed up a little bit. I can't confederate, so here I am. Well, at least I haven't checked. I don't really want to, but we'll see in time. Okay, a non-aggression pact. Are you fighting any humans at all? You're fighting a lot of chaos. True. Yeah, maybe I don't want to fight you. Maybe I want to let you die out there on the battlefield. Blood dragons have got to be cool. One day we'll try them out and just fight through the entire empire. Go crazy, filming at their mouths and cutting people down left and right. Just laughing maniacally. We are the blood dragons. Just killing everyone like that. Yeah. All right. What else am I going to take today? I'm going to take a guardhouse because it's what baby halfling Jesus would want. So we're going to take that now. And I probably need to replenish a little bit because we'll need to push up north. I bet if I scout it out, we'll find some chaos. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. We got it over here. And you are rank five. Hey, good for you, pal. Okay, here's a bit of that cleansing of corruption. I'm going to give you silver bullets. Enjoy. All right. Tier 3. They have no walls. Okay, good. I kind of want some more stuff to help me out, man, because, I mean, that's a lot of battling to do. Ostermark is pretty weak because of it. I mean, they got pushed out of their own homes. <laughs> Idiots. All right. I've got money. What am I going to spend my money on? Good question. Well, I need a gold mine. Uh, 4,000 gold. You're killing me here, Holmes. We're going to end their turn now. I'm not even at turn 40. My God, we're doing okay. Good for me. Marienburg and Reichland are no longer fighting, so I don't really need to fight them either. Yeah. I just don't want them popping out of nowhere and killing me. Man, I want Gotrick and Felix. Give me Gotrick and Felix. I want, like, the permanent version of them, not some little, oh, we're going to be here for 30 turns and then leave you. Now, if those two were heroes, then that would be okay, but they're not. They're pretty lame. Otherwise, yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool as hell, you know? But they're not. <laughs> All right. Jacking off. I could use a gold smelter. That's a lot of gold, so we'll take that right away. And I think we're going to call it here for right now because we've got some building up to do. Now, when we are ready, we will go out to conquer 
another location in Ostermark, giving me quite a few. I wonder if I attack you. Will that cause me any issues? Well, you're allied to no one, so I actually could go after Ostermark and destroy them. I might want, like, a few more units. Hello, we can trade. Sure. You're not weak and pathetic like some people around here. I don't want a military alliance, and no, we cannot confederate, so now I know. I do want some money for our trade. No, how about we try that again? And you'll be lucky if I let you have my stuff. I will. There we go, 600 gold, I'll take that. Sure, sure, sure. Reichlin, you keep on doing what you're doing right now. And the Ugma tribe? Ugma. It's a good name. All right, so you guys have two locations, one over here in the mountains and one elsewhere. Ah, I gotcha. Wood elves, naturally, very powerful. They usually are. I don't want to fight them. Okay, they might fight me one day. Hopefully they won't. The vampire counts have two factions left. So the vampire counts actually have more of a staying presence because they do have blood dragons helping out. They actually just need a different location and blood dragons can really do that. It's minor, sure, but they just need to be aggressive and actually just conquer right out the gate. All right, so we do need a common temple, I think, to get some more untainted region wide. We can actually get rid of our warrior priest one if we wanted to by doing that. I'm not going to get another agent because I've just got so many right now. So we'll wait on that and see what comes next. Oslin is actually ranked three. Holy shit, that's pretty impressive. All right, can I move any agents right now? I cannot, but look forward to more, everyone. I will have some D&D content coming on my RPG channel quite soon. Check it out down below. I've got my RPG channel all ready to go. And if you're a patron, thank you for supporting my channel. If you're not, do consider becoming one. One dollar a month for me goes a long way. I mean, imagine if out of like my near 200k subs as of right now, 1% gave like one buck. Buck ads at that point, right? Anyway, I shall see all of you later. Praise the fighting cocks. And as always, until then.